Hello and welcome back to part three of our DBT course series. If you missed part one or part two, the links for those will be in the description below. Part three will cover running our DBT model and then exporting the documentation from DBT into Amazon's S3. Let's jump back in the shipyard and pick up where we left off in part two. First, let's navigate back to the project created in day two called DBT Core Testing. Hover over the blue New button in the top right corner of your page and click New Fleet. Click the gear icon on the sidebar of the Fleet Builder to open Fleet Settings. Under Fleet Name, enter DBT Run and Download Documents. Click on the plus sign on the Fleet Builder sidebar to begin adding vessels. Scroll to Org Blueprints and find the blueprint that was created in Part 2 of the guide called dbt-execute CLI command. Click the blueprint to add it to the fleet as a vessel. Under Vessel Name, enter dbt model run. Leave the dbt CLI command as the default, which is dbt run. Now that we have a vessel to run our dbt model, we will create a vessel to generate the documentation from dbt. Click on the plus sign on the Fleet Builder sidebar. Click the dbt execute CLI command blueprint to add it to the fleet a second time. Under vessel name, enter generate dbt documentation. Under the dbt CLI command, enter dbt docs generate. Connect the dbt model run and dbt docs generate vessels together. Now that we have vessels set up to run our dbt model and generate the documentation, we need to create a vessel from Shipyard's native low-code blueprints to upload the documentation to an S3 bucket. Click on the plus sign on the Fleet Builder sidebar. Click on Amazon S3 to expand the blueprint options. Click the blueprint titled Upload Files. A vessel will be created and placed into the Fleet Builder. Under Vessel Name, enter Upload DBT Documentation to S3. Under bucket name, enter the bucket name inside of S3 in which you want the documentation to be placed. Under local folder name, enter target. Under local file name, enter manifest.json. Under S3 folder name and S3 file name, feel free to populate those fields as you see fit to keep your bucket organized. Under access key ID and secret access key, enter those values from S3. Under region, enter the region of your S3 bucket. Connect this vessel to the generate dbt documentation vessel. Click save and finish on the bottom right of your page. This will redirect you to a page notifying you that your fleet has been created successfully. Click run your fleet. This will take you to the fleet log page. On the fleet log page, you can see the status confirms that the fleet completed successfully. You can click on any of the log IDs or the green bars on the Gantt chart to see the output from the vessel run. Let's click into the upload dbt documentation to S3 vessel. We can see from the output that the documentation was uploaded to our S3 bucket. While this tutorial focused on uploading the documentation to an S3 bucket, Shipyard has native low code blueprints to upload to other cloud storage options as well. These include Azure Blob Storage, Box, Dropbox, Google Cloud Storage, and Google Drive. There are instructions on how to use those specific blueprints in the written guide. Thank you so much for joining us for the RDBT course series. I hope you feel comfortable deploying your DBT models in the cloud now. If you have any questions about anything that happened during this guide or how to implement services upstream or downstream from your DBT processes in the cloud, feel free to send us a message through Intercom on the Shipyard webpage. We'll see you next time.